And now, please welcome the athletes to the field of play for the compound men bronze medal match. Time now to settle the first medal in the compound men's individual competition. It's a bronze medal final here in Medellin. For the 10th anniversary of this event, the third stage of this year's high and right archery World Cup circuit. It's time for the athlete introductions. On target number one, representing Brazil, in La Boca número uno, representando Brasil. Lucas Abreu! On target number two, representing the United States of America. En la boca número dos, y representando Estados Unidos de América, Nick Cappers! The line judge for this matchup is El juez del partido, Klaus Ligerman. So here we go, the bronze medal match in the compound men's individual competition here on compound Saturday in Medellin is a matchup between, uh, well, Mr. Cool himself, uh, a pretty new face to the final for the business end of the tournament, Lucas Abrio from Brazil. And he's going up against Nick Kappers, who's come through a uh, loss to semi final. Uh, never put a needle in it, and I wonder how much that would have taken out of him. This is by no means a one-way street in favour of the Pan American champion Nick Cappers. It will be Lucas Abrio to get things underway. Yeah. And, and Lucas <laughs> has had the worst out of the way now. Like uh, he got used to the venue, he got used to being in the venue. Uh, the, the second half of his previous match was uh, better than the the first half. I felt like. Uh, more stable, more calm. So he might be able to start this match a bit better and, and yeah. put some pressure on Nick. Call the 10. Um, I think it's a 10, but I would also like to have the judge confirm it because I'm not completely sure. Yep. Yeah. Cool. He agrees with you because he's marked it down for a measure. The pair of you are very, very narrow. So, uh, again, interestingly, um, Lucas has a coach there. there. There is a coach. He's just standing outside of the field, uh, leaning against the fence. So, it, rather than having him in the coach's box, he's just uh, there on his own. And maybe that is what he prefers. There. This angle kind of makes me think that it might not be a 10. So, curious to see what the judge has to say about it. Well, at least the coach is just leaning on the fence. You're firmly sitting on the sounds of things. Not calling it one way or another. Well, there it is. The arrow value has been confirmed. It was indeed a 9. 29 to 29 situation here. There was an adjustment there by Nick Kappers off that second narrow. It wasn't too far out, was it? No, oh, his coach were, uh, was calling it a 9.7. So uh, typically when you're shooting, uh, just saying 9 won't be enough. You want to have a little bit more information. So you partition the, the, the 9 and the 10 ring, and you can say like it's a 10.4 on the left or it's a 9.7 on the right. So you kind of know how far out it is. Um, and it also helps with adjusting your sight, like how much should I adjust my sight? Is it like almost an eight or is it, so this would be a 9.4 or 9.5. Um, just so that you have a little bit more information for your uh, sight yep. settings. Well, just to uh, round off that discussion about uh, both you and the scorer marking that final arrow uh, from Abrio as a, a potential nine. You're right, both of you, 29s a piece after the first. Yep. 
He's opening things up in the second after two nines from the Brazilian. Very difficult one to call again. Um, very similar to the last arrow, so. Again, I'd yep. like to have to judge. Yes, yes, yes. Nick seems to have recovered from whatever it was he was uh, plagued by in the semifinals. You can see that he has a bit more relaxed uh, vibe going on, and uh, he's able to have a conversation with his coach now, a coach that he didn't have in the previous match. Um, his coach is Chris Webster, the, the, the nice guy that will probably be able to get you a bit relaxed in a situation like this. So. Yeah, just a, a better situation for him at the moment, I think. It is interesting that the Brazilian kind of shooting coach is, they say, he's leaning against the fence. He's not, he's not in the box. That does, does seem curious because Abreu is going and talking to him. Exactly. If, if he was just standing there and uh, doing his own thing without having any contact with his coach, then I would have understood why he didn't want the coach. But he is communicating with his he, like He is doing back and forth in between. Uh, every end, so it's uh, strange, but uh, yeah, whatever works, whatever floats his boat. Well, measure went in his favor that time for a 28 Abrio. Fast, and it uh, moves on to 57 points and trails Capas by two. She's first in the third of this bronze medal match. So although uh, 69 out of 70 is really good, Nick has not shot an X yet, so that makes me believe that he's not like actually dialed in dialed in um, but he does look way more rela rela relaxed than in the previous match opportunity here to open the gap after an eight from Abro. Yep. Yeah. you called for it and you got it Are you happy now uh, a little more than before nine moving There it is, 10, 10, 10, score. So capitalizing uh, on an opportunity, Nick Kappas goes on to 89. For me, this would have been a nice moment to have a coach in my box so I could uh, have somebody for some, some consolation or, you know, a little bit of a, uh, yeah, conversation about what happened or it doesn't even have to be constructive just to get your mind off things or to vent a bit to say like, oh, I didn't feel like I deserved to have that eight or um, whatever it is you need to say, you can just get it out uh, and, and get some feedback on your shooting, some encouragement and then go back to the next end. Perhaps we're seeing just a little bit more of that frustration from Abreu in this match compared to that semi-final way. He was kind of a little swagger and not really too worried about that. Clearly it does mean something to him. Of course it means something to him. He's in the final four of the men's compound competition. And there's medal up for grabs here. Perhaps a little fire of reach though. It's a start number four. That's a back in line the time. Yep. recovery though, so it, it seems like he didn't make it go to his head too much. But Nick is just yep. shooting Ten. very well right now. Yep. 
And he seems to be in a better space now, but um, even if he had shot this score in the previous match, um, it wouldn't have been enough against Jimmy. Unless uh, he could shoot this score, he would have put some pressure on Jimmy not to shoot that 150, so it's always a bit after the fact. Yeah, and uh, you know, the two things, I mean, three, three in a row for you've got the, as you say, Chef, you've got the smiles, the relaxation on the face of the Pan American champion, very contrasting. Yeah, it's almost as if a, a different person is on the line. Well, the bronze medal looks uh, very secure. But we have seen strange things happen. Exploding a full draw, for example. But it's going to need something like that, isn't it, to, to give uh, the Brazilian a shot at this bronze medal. Yeah, I don't think he's going to shoot at 25 just from lack of skill at this point. Um, he's been shooting so stable, so consistent in this match that I think, like you say, something needs to happen uh, if this match uh, even wants to end up in a shoot off. Four tens in a row for Abrio, though. Yep. Ten. Yes. Be nice to see Abro finish with another perfect. It's a bit of a long hold, a bit of movement there as well uh, for 143. Yeah, so same score as in the semi final, even though it seemed way more convincing. Uh, but I think it's really due to that. No shot. Well, in the end, Nick Cappers shooting a 148. Absolutely superb performance from him. After being just a little worried that perhaps he was carrying over uh, some of the anger that appeared to be showing in the semi finals. But Nick Cappers, the Pan American champion, on his debut at the World Cup stage, has picked up the bronze medal here in Medellin.